Hello, in this video, we will show you how you can use the message assistant with tool calling and getting the tool via a dynamical webhook. So let's dive into the use case to show you how you can utilize a make webhook that is actually within your module here as a function and sending along the message and returning you a JSON string that you can reuse in make. So let's dive before going into any detail into the use case. Let's say you have open job offerings and these job offerings have a sonority, a location skill and a job description here. So now let's go into our assistant and our assistant explains you a bit more about the use case itself. You are an advanced HR manager. You will provide the CV and you need to rate the CV and you need to rate it from scale from one to 100 uh, from zero to 100 and you can maximum return three job offers that matches this cv and you need to return it in this kind of like case of uh json object so now how do we get dynamically always the job offerings in to our message assistant this is done by using the tool calling inside the module. I'm just going to open this and you can see here that we defined the function. Now, how do you get the function in here? You go into your playground and in the playground, you can define a function. And let's say I will just replicate this function for the demo purposes. You can see it here, just going to save it, create a new function. You can also find some neat examples over here. And we could also use the get weather one. Let's rename it to get weather one. And now let's save it. So once you're now back into make, you have to basically refresh the assistant. So the assistant now pulls in the correct function and you will now see here two urls so now this url is basically where you provide this function the data so it can start working with it how can you do this inside make i have basically built a super simple way of getting all the jobs from airtable in this case so what i'm doing here is i basically spun up this that hook and i search all the records i build a json so i can respond to json and here i'm basically just responding the json object to our assistant so how does that look it looks like basically like this long nested json string and this long json string is basically pulled up by this one let's now remove our fake function i created for demo purposes and let's basically run this module again. It's going to take some time, but what it does, it basically takes in the CV. You could provide the CV from a previous contact form or from any other source. And then you can dynamically compare the CV matching with your current open job offerings. These job offerings, again, they will be returned from this dynamical table by this webhook URL and you can basically build like some kind of like responding scenario to it and now once you go back it just takes of course some time because it's loading all the data it's creating some loopings and once it's done you get here your perfect matchable JSON object which you can then parse and reuse later on if you are an advanced user you of course can also use the show advanced settings in our open ai modules and inside these open ai modules you get also the response format option as a json object make sure if you use this json object that you also in your assistant configure the assistant to also return you json so if you have any other question or if you want to know more around how to use open ai modules or how to use open ai message assistant feel free to comment and post underneath this video